Hello everyone. In this video, we will create our first program using OpenCV. I hope that you have already set up OpenCV and integrated it with your Visual Studio. If you have not done it yet and need help, then please check out my video on setting up OpenCV with Visual Studio. I am also assuming that you have added all the additional dependencies to your program. Please check out my another video in which I talked about adding additional dependencies. Because without these dependencies, our program will not recognize the header files and functions of OpenCV. So after everything is set up, let's get started. These steps are trivial and very similar to a standard C++ program. We are using high GUI header file for functions named window, IM show, wait key and video capture class. Here we are using namespace std and namespace cv. For now, just remember that namespaces are named regions or groups having some defined identifiers inside them. When we use them in our program, we say that whenever we use some predefined identifiers, it will be first looked over namespace regions. We will cover namespace in a separate video. Here we start our main function. This is video capture class object cam. This class has functions to capture videos from cameras and from media files. It is an important class of HiDV.h. Now by using cam object, we are opening the camera. Zero represents ID of camera. It is also known as camera index. So if you have only one camera connected to your system, then pass zero here. I have two cameras connected, so I am checking whether first one is working or not. If not working, I am moving to second camera. Cam dot is opened, checks whether the camera is open or not. Here I am opening the second camera if first one is not working due to some technical problems or if it is used by some other application. This function named window creates a window with its title as hello cv. This argument one says that window should has hello shable size and default properties. NAT is a class which is basically used to store and operate images. It is like a container for storing images in pixel matrix form. Here we are creating an infinite loop. Then we are grabbing input from camera using our cam object. In a single iteration, we are getting a single frame and storing it in IMG. Then we are drawing this frame over our previously created hello cv window using imshow function. This wait key function with 50 as its argument provides 50 milliseconds to window to complete its drawing process. If we don't use this function here inside loop, we will not be able to see anything over our hello cv window because buffer will not get any time to render the image over our window. All this will happen in a single iteration of while loop and this loop will go on forever until and unless we explicitly close our program by closing CMD where program is running. So let's run this program. So I think everything worked well. Okay. If you have any query or if you want to suggest something, please comment. You can give a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to our channel to get our future projects and other interesting stuffs. Thank you and have a nice day.